Hi, my name is Dr. Justine Lee, and I'm an emergency critical care veterinary specialist and a toxicologist. And today I was going to demonstrate how to give insulin to your cat. Now, a lot of pet owners feel really intimidated about giving insulin to their cat twice a day, but the more aggressively we can try to treat diabetes in cats, the higher the likelihood that we can make cats go into remission. What does that mean? That's a fancy way of saying, if we can aggressively treat your cat for diabetes to help resolve the signs of drinking a lot and urinating a lot and losing weight, hopefully the diabetes will go away after a year or two. So you definitely want to treat it appropriately. Now, this is just going to be for demonstration purposes only, but what we're going to do is we're going to use an appropriate size insulin syringe and the type of insulin that your veterinarian is going to prescribe. Now, keep in mind there's different types of brands and letters, and insulin syringes come in numerous sizes. So this one says U100, which means we can only use a U100 syringe with that. If you look on the syringe, it'll actually say U100. Sometimes it's listed as U40. If the insulin is U100, you can't or you shouldn't use a U40 syringe, and it's just gonna change the dosing that you're gonna give. You can look on the syringe and you'll see multiple numbers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the back stopper or the plunger part, and this is where you're gonna aspirate up the insulin. You can also remove the orange cap, and you'll see a tiny, tiny, tiny needle. And I know it looks like a big needle, but the good thing is your cat will hardly feel the injection. And once you get used to giving insulin, it's really quite simple. So the important thing is if you get a new bottle of insulin, is first of all, you wanna make sure you have the right syringe and the right U100 or U40 type. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure to store this in the refrigerator. You want to make sure to roll it in your hands to shake it up very gently. You don't want to vigorously shake the bottle. So a lot of times while I'm drinking my coffee, I'll just take the insulin out to let it warm up and I'll just gently roll it back and forth in my hands. If it's a new bottle, you'll notice a cap on it. So we're just going to remove this cap and you'll notice the center part of the insulin has a sterile area where we're gonna stick the needle into there. And so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how to draw up insulin. You're gonna take off your needle cap and basically insert it into the center spongy part and you're gonna draw back insulin. So you'll actually start to see insulin is filling the syringe. You'll notice a slightly cloudy color to the syringe, and if I was administering 30 units, we would draw it all the way back to the 30 unit mark. Now, in this situation, I actually will overdraw, because you'll see a little air bubble. We want to get that air bubble out, so we'll squirt that back into the bottle. So you're going to draw it out to the appropriate amount. So typically, most cats need about two units of insulin. So we're going to draw it up to the second line. So when in doubt, make sure to ask your veterinarian or your veterinary technician to demonstrate how to draw up the insulin. Now I'm going to squirt this all back in and just demonstrate without any insulin in the syringe. Don't worry, we won't really poke Seamus. The easiest thing is I always like to advise if you've never given insulin before is to ask your veterinarian or your veterinary technician just to shave a small area over the back of your cat so you can see where to give the injection. So a lot of times I'll give it over the shoulder blade so I'll just ask them to make one shave mark. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your cat eats first and as they're eating their breakfast, you can literally just gently lift the skin Take the needle cap off and you're going to basically give the injection directly into that area of where you've lifted the skin. So again, I'm not going to physically demonstrate on Seamus, but again, very easy to give insulin once you feel comfortable.